Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Thursday, and I thought I would, thinking of all the, <laughs> Sassy's going to give us a show. <laughs> it's just like they know when I'm going to anyway, do this. So I was thinking of all the videos, and I wanted to go ahead and get this done, because this has been sitting in my closet, my empties, and, look at that, it's so nice. And um, so, I wanted to do my empties, and I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can tell now that I show you, that I, yesterday we took, or Will and I, we took Brooke to Ulta to get her hair done. She got it just, it's beautiful, it's just like a dark brown. And um, I got Kate, I explained to her that when she first cut my hair, we thought I was going to wear it more curled and everything, and I think she was afraid to cut too much off, you know. We were, well, I told her to cut the least amount off just to make it healthy. And But I didn't like that weird, like, longer section in the back. It made it look like I had two things going on. And I just wanted it kind of in a, I guess, a long bob. I can't believe I'm saying that. But I didn't want it, like, you know, coming longer in the front. I don't, that's, I don't feel like that's for me. But... I do like um, it to be more all one length and then when I let it grow you know I'll have all those options and so I got that done yesterday and I wanted to tell you this I don't like this I bought this it's one of those things you have to shake up it's by Wella it's their thermal image heat protection spray and it's the kind that you spray on your hair when it's dry before you flat iron it and it made my hair it took like all the silkiness out of my hair i had used the perfect hair day and a little bit of i think the shu yumira oil and so it was already had a lot of body and everything but when i went and sprayed this on i didn't even do it section by section i just kind of did it half of my head and half of my head before i did the flat iron I did not like the way it felt and then I realized it has hold level too so just wanted to go ahead and tell you that if you were maybe ever looking at this this isn't just a regular heat spray I really much prefer that Paul Mitchell is it hot off the press maybe something like that I, I was just wanting to get the most heat protection I could but I'm just gonna probably stick with that and maybe like my royal blowout or something so i can't wait to wash it tonight and get it more it's like kind of stiff you can tell it's got that hold in it today but anyway love it and <laughs> one of my friends um karen peep jr said she was glad i didn't want to throw myself into a ravine this time <laughs> i thought that was so funny anyway so let's get started with my empties and a lot of them are going to be like so repetitive and I guess, I don't know, you always have to let me know if you don't want to see any more. Okay, this is the Glow Therapeutics 10% Glycolic Cleanser. This I use every once in a while. It's very strong, but John uses it every day. And like I've told you before, he's got the typical bald head that has like some sun damage and stuff on it from being at the beach and playing golf. He went, he lost, he said he started losing his hair in his early 20s, so he's been bald a long time and so this has really helped like get all of that flakiness off and he and i both agree that it has helped his hair i think it's just cleansed his hair follicles and everything because even that little fine little bit of hair he has there's more of it so love this and you have for this strong one you have to i hate to say have a prescription but it is prescription strength so i get it at my med spa but you have to be like a um, patient or client there whatever to be able to get it there is one that's a little bit less strong that has maybe I don't know if it still has glycolic acid in it but I use that one too so um, if you want to just try that one you could you can look on their website and tell all about it okay these I use all the time I probably use two or three of these a day and they're just the q-tip precision tip q-tips and I use them a lot for makeup mistakes, pushing my false lashes after I put them on with the glue. A lot of times I'll take that little pointed Q-tip and kind of run it along the lash. And not only does it clean up some of the excess glue, if there is any, it also helps kind of put those in place. And I just love them. They're not too um, 
fuzzy. They don't have a lot of excess fuzzy stuff on them. Okay, these are the Quo Luxury little cotton pads that I have been so fortunate for some of you guys to send me. Love them. They're just like the Shiseido wipes. Mac Fix Plus, a <laughs> fuzzy Mac Fix Plus. I just bought some more of that. And I bought the, I like the NY, or not NYX, but the Urban Decay, okay. But to me, it's got more, I don't like this so much for the fixing abilities. It's kind of like the hair. I don't want it to have like any stickiness or anything to it. I like it just because it gets rid of the powderiness of my makeup and it gives it kind of a glow and you know makes it where the fine lines and pores and stuff don't show as much. And so when I ran out of this, I used the Urban Decay. I had some little ones and they were okay. And then I bought the NYX spray that not the matte one, but the one for a dewy finish and oh, the smell. It remind the smell reminded me of like formaldehyde or it really reminded me of biology class when we dissected like frogs and stuff. That's gross, I know, but so I couldn't stand the smell, but my favorite is the Mac all the way, no matter what I try. Okay, this is an empty box of the breast petals. <laughs> and a lot of times in my dresses especially like the halter maxi dresses and stuff you guys have asked me what i was using and that is what i was using and i got these at i think not nordstrom but dillard's and um they're just they're good you know they keep they do with their purpose bioderma i go through just bottles and bottles of this stuff i am using now that Marie sent me the nivea so i'm going to use all the different ones that she sent me and i will let you know but so far, I think the Bioderma is still my favorite. Okay, is this another one? Yeah, another little bottle. I don't even know what's in here because I just keep this in my closet and throw my empties in here. Matter of fact, let me go get a, a real okay, trash bag. I won't bag throw this right away. Back. I know to keep that for um. Back to Mac, and let's see. Throw all this stuff away in here. Okay, let's see. Ardell self adhesive lashes. These are my favorites. Right now, I have on another favorite, and these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. The difference is, to me, these have that thicker black band with the adhesive, and I kind of like that because it kind of adds more definition right at your lashes, and after I have used it once with the self-adhesive, I just put glue on that band, and it just they just seem to go on better. I like the way they look and um it just seems like the band is a good makes it just a really good spot for the glue just more glue it just they're just easier and i like the way they look and i order them from madame madeline lashes and they are the 120s and so i love those okay um the new lash i had a backup and i just opened it i have kind of not been using it I used it up until probably last week, but I've been enjoying wearing my false lashes and um, I wanted to kind of give my eyes a break and just kind of take a break from it, even though I don't think they're hurt, it's hurting me or anything and it works so well. I just figured I would take a break and enjoy wearing false lashes again for a little bit. I just figured there wasn't any sense in doing both. So that's, but that is my, definitely my favorite lash growth is the new lash. And you can just get that at you know, Neiman Marcus or anything like that. Okay, this is one of the Urban Decay sprays that I used. Uh, my all-time, all-time, all-time favorite deodorant and antiperspirant. It is the Donna Ka Karen Cashmere Mist. And like I said, it is the deodorant and antiperspirant. I just can't deal with the sweating. And it's humid here where I live and this, it does smell good. It does smell like the cashmere mist, but it doesn't last. It doesn't, you know, interfere with my perfume at all. I love it. And anytime I have run out of it and taken a while to go get it, I really, really miss it. It's so much better than even the um, secret professional strength or anything like that. I just, you know, love it. Okay, as always, I'll probably have a couple empty tubes of my favorite toothpaste. This is a Sensodyne Pro Namel 
multi-action cleansing mint favorite favorite i even like the i like the tube i like the texture and i feel like it really does help with the enamel and keep your teeth very like pearly and glossy i really like this and i have sensitive teeth so okay this is something that i have kind of been slack on lately and i'm not sure how much i think this really helped john has been taking them too he's the one that got me on these and he really thinks this helps a lot but he is a oh goodness now she's just playing with nothing she's just jumping around but he really loves all types of vitamins and stuff i you know i've told you his vitamin shop and vitacost and puritan's pride is just like my sephora and nordstrom boxes on the porch but um this is something that I have taken probably two bottles of, and it is skin restoring, skin restoring phytoceramides with lipo wheat. Helps maintain healthy skin hydration. And you can go and read all about this. He ordered them from probably maybe that site or Vitamin World, not sure. He always gets them for me. And they are supposed to help your skin just help you know, hold moisture in that top layer. So I, if I had to say, I do think it's helped, if I had to say. Okay, there's gonna be several little uh, conditioner packs like this because when people send them to me, I use them. And right now I've been finishing up my, the Moroccan oil. And I've also got a Wella deep conditioning. I've got more, I just use deep conditioning balms most all the time because I think it helps with my hair being color treated and fragile anyway, and I think it helps, you know, it be silkier, and um, I think it helps get straighter when you are blow drying instead of having to use so much heat. So, but this one was a really good one. I think Tammy sent me this one. It's the Joyco K-Pack Revitalux. Just a conditioning balm for my hair. Okay, um, Renew, this is my favorite contact solution. And so many of you ask if I have colored contacts, and I don't. I just have regular, oh gosh, I don't even know what they are. Um, I'll put the name of my contacts down here. And I have gone back to the one eye for distance, one eye for close up. I just could not do the multifocal lens. So I have like a 175 in my right eye for distance and a 50 in my left eye to see close up. And, um, Biofinity, that's the name of my contacts. Sassy's in there now playing with something else. She's actually playing with, I've been going through my bras because most of them are too big and I've got a pile to give away and she's playing with those. <laughs> okay, but that's my favorite. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is for Back to Mac. This is the top to my Studio Fix fluid, and um, I bought a pump that goes in it. So I evidently just saved that for Back to Mac. Okay, this is a very messy, this little, you know how some of these just do this? Every time you pump it, it just like keeps coming out. If I had to say my all-time favorite go-to foundation, it would be Makeup Forever HD in 128. I have 127, and I think I even have 123 but 128 is what I use in the summer. Today I have on, I think, the Maybelline Fit Me because I just try to go back and forth, you know, but love that. Oh, these are my all-time favorite. I love these nail polish remover pads more than any I have ever used, the any, like high-end or OPI, whatever. And I bought them when I had my 20% off coupon. I bought the big boxes. This is the one that you can get right up at the front for like $2 and something. I bought the big packs and I bought like five packs last time because I love them. Even with colors like this, which I'll, this is another one of those little polishes from the Sephora uh, Formula X. It's called Eureka. And it is a pretty, just fuchsia pink type color. And I did cut my nails last night. They were getting so long. And it's not that I don't really like them a little bit longer, but there is the biggest difference in how well your nail polish lasts. Because you know, I take mine off and change it, I think every other night usually. And um, 
even with having them just a little bit longer, they were getting chips on the ends. So I cut them short last night just with the nail clippers. And then I have a, actually it's this. Well, I have a Butter London curved little nail file that I use. So anyway, really encourage you to give these a try and um, love them. Okay, another conditioner that one of my subscribers sent me that I used in my hair. Um, let's see, I'm gonna save a few of these things. Okay, the Jurgens Natural Glow Naturally Tan. This is something, we're getting to the bottom here. This is something I used before it became summertime and now I just go to the beach when I wanna get a little sun. And um, today is sunny and I really, really thought we were gonna go to the beach, but it's already gotten cloudy. I knew that it said that it was gonna get cloudy around 12 and it's 11.24, so it did. But um, I like this okay. I really think I prefer just using a tanning thing versus just the lotion, but it's okay. It was just, I mean, some people really, really like it. This, I went through just tubes and tubes of this. It is the Jergens BB Body and I like it. Nothing beats just a good regular tan to me, of course, but um, I do like this. And it was smelled good, it made my skin soft, and I, I liked it. Okay, another Bioderma. Brooke uses that too. She comes in my bathroom to take off her makeup. Okay, this is the Replenix Eye Repair Cream. I finished that a long time ago. It is actually a retinol, I think it says. Is it? No, I think I got this from my dermatologist and it's part of that. Yeah, all trans retinol eye repair cream. And I've had mixed um, mixed reviews and mixed feelings. Well, I'm not mixed feelings, mixed um, advice, I guess, about whether you should use retinol under your eyes. Tell me what you think. I really like the revision um, retinol eye serum better than this but some people really don't think you should use that stuff like that under your eyes, so. Okay, that's something else. Oh, right, here's the top to my Makeup Forever. And let's see what this is. Okay, this is a shower. It was a really nice shower gel lotion type stuff, nourishing shower paste. It was really neat, it was really thick that my friend Anne-Marie sent me from, she lives in the Netherlands. But Ritual, I believe, is a brand we can get like at Barney's and stuff like that. But loved this. This was, I loved kind of smoothing this on and then using it to shave my legs too. Okay. Brow Wiz from Anastasia Medium Ash. And gosh, I hate that that. I just got duped with the whole Medium Ash. I ordered a brow kit on um, Amazon. I know that's irritating. <laughs> I just ordered a brow kit on Amazon that was supposed to have the medium ash old brow powder in it because that's what Colleen uses and you can't buy that anymore. And so I got the kit and I figured I would use the, you know, the brow gel and everything else with it. And I was so excited and I pulled the powder out and it's medium brown again. So even though the box said medium ash, the powder in it said medium brown. So I know that that's what they've done to replace it, but I was looking forward to trying the other one. Okay, another Jergens BB Body. This one feels like it had some in it left in it. I must just decided to throw it out because I know it'll be a while before I get to use it again. Another Fix Plus. That shows you how fast I go through those. A, let's see, couple of used up mascaras. This is the Hot and Naughty Lash. One of them is the two Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. And then one of them is just Hot and Naughty. One of them was just, I think, a little bit more intense. Love this. I have another one in my bathroom now that I use. Matter of fact, I used it today. It just has a good, it has the double wand. But what I like about it is even though it's a big um, wand, it has a good point to it. So when I'm doing my, underneath my false lashes, I can really get up in there. And um, it's kind of a wet formula. It like puts plenty on if you like formulas like that. Okay, Bobbi Brown, this is old. I think I just threw it in here because I was gonna throw it away, but it is corrector. You can see I must have liked it pretty good, but this is what I used to use. Now this is creamy concealer, warm beige. This is what I used to use before I discovered 
Giorgio Armani Master Corrector and my Maybelline Dream Lumi because that's my favorite like concealer corrector combo now but I used to use the Bobbi Brown Salmon Corrector and then this concealer and it looks good at first but it creases like crazy on me so I prefer what I'm using now and um, let's see some more cotton rounds or cotton pads that are real similar to the I'm sorry, I'm just having I'm to get used to sassy hair where she's running around. But anyway, I'm having to get used to, you know, my hair being so like all over the place. But ooh, I really don't like it today. I can't wait to wash it tonight and make it silkier looking. Anyway, these are the cotton clouds. Okay, this is for those of us that can't get the quo and don't want to spend the money on the Shiseido. I found out about these from Kristen Game here on YouTube, and I'll put her link down below. But she told us about these, and then you can get these from Amazon. And I ordered like a case of them and gave some to my mom, and I think I sent a pack to Tammy. But um, they are very similar to the Shiseido. Just so much better than the ones you can get at like CVS or something. And these are not very expensive at all. Okay. <laughs> um, another conditioner this is the mega rich peter thomas roth that i used on my hair um this is the rinse off eye makeup solvent when i ran out of bioderma one time i got this because it's pretty similar it's not the micellar whatever or i don't know whatever it's not the same thing but it's not i don't like the dual phase type makeup removers that much i do use the Chanel one if I have on some serious eye makeup and I really know that I need something else like for instance Anything benefit is tough to get off your eyes that liner and the um, I know they have a special remover, but I, if I use my Chanel I can get that stuff off. But anyway, this is okay. It isn't you know, it's just okay Okay, an ultra moist AG moisture and shine Conditioner love anything from this brand AG another toothpaste good to the last squeeze and This and you can see it has a little bit more in it, but it gets kind of thick and It's so inexpensive. I just go get another one, but love this top coat It's the Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat because there's like about 10 different top coats from Sally Hansen, but love it i like it just as much as the sesh beat and that is it so i am going to go get rid of this stuff and i'll do a quick outfit of the day and so let today, you today i right just back. felt like wearing a dress and i love this one it's one of the ones that i got last year at is it not net a porter but oh, i cannot think of the name i'll put it down here and um so i bought it last year before I went to that Manolo event and I just love it because it's it's got all the different pleats and I just it's forgiving, it's comfortable. And to make um, it just a little bit more casual and fun, I just paired it with my white Stuart Weitzman pumps. And that just makes it a little bit rather than putting like strappy sandals or or my Valentinos or something, I just felt like this was a little bit more casual and I love these pumps. They're just so comfortable. And um, so that's it, just something simple. And then one thing that I forgot were my Colleen Rothschild empties. And I saved these because I wanted to tell you why I liked them, especially this. Okay, this is the body lotion and I loved it. I wish I could just get like one this big with like a big pump on the top. I love it. It made my skin feel so velvety and it smells, um, I don't know, it has, reminds me of my childhood for some reason. I it must smell like a lotion that my parents used or something because it reminds, I don't know, it has like a clean smell and I just loved it. So I used all of that and then her eye cream. I need to order another one. As you can see, it was good to the very, very last drop. Right now I'm using the Rachel K eye cream, which is probably my second favorite, but this is awesome. This is so good at moisturizing that I like using this at night. Not heavily, but I put a generous amount um, under my eyes and then I put it right under my eyebrows. And you know, that's going to kind of um, soak or 
what is the word they use crawl usually with eye creams it will crawl down and it will moisturize your eyelids without you having to really put it on there and when I get up in the morning I do not need to use eye cream the next morning which helps with putting on my corrector and helping my makeup stay and I just love it so this has been one of my favorite products from Colleen and I really hate that I'm not more of a skincare junkie and can tell you about, you know, I've, I've used, I use her like cleansing balm and stuff like that, but I cannot wait until she comes out with her makeup. She's working on that now and that's what I'm really excited about. But this has been one of my all time favorite products. This and I'm almost, I'm down to the last, I've got it all scrunched up and I'm squeezing the last drops out of my hand cream too. So I will see if I have a, a I'm pretty sure she'll give me a discount link. So I will put the link for this down below. Okay, and then for accessories, I have on, I have not even worn these because you guys love these so much and I was out of them, but I just got these back in and they are the, I think they're called medium thick brushed hoops from Sheila Fajal and I got some more silver ones and I've got, of course, the rose gold and the gold and then this is something new. It's a new fun ring and it's, I chose to, keep the silver one for myself and I don't know why my camera is doing that but it's kind of like a fringy ring and I love how fine it is and it's just a fun ring and a lot of my rings have gotten too big so I was glad to get a new one and these come in the gold and the silver and I'll have these on my site too by the time I put this video up okay I think that's it and um, thank you all for your support and everything and I will see you tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.